Hello everyone. Today we are going to know about causality assessment. So what is meant by the causality? As we know, there must be a cause behind every adverse drug reaction. And root cause ident identification is a critical aspect of pharmacovigilance. Causality assessment refers to the evaluation of whether the occurrence of adverse reaction is because of administered medicine or not. So there are many different methods of causality assessment. Here I have discussed few of them. First one is expert opinion or clinical judgment or global introspection. So this method is commonly used by clinicians where they try to study the link between particular treatment and occurred adverse reaction. This method is purely based on previous knowledge and experience of the clinicians in the relevant field. Here experts evaluate the data and express their opinion. Now who are these experts? Experts are medical doctor specialized in respective disease. This method is developed by WHO and Uppsala Monitoring Center. As per this method, the probable association between drug and adverse event exists at a six different levels. First is conditional or unclassified, second is unlikely, third one is unaccessible, fourth is possible, fifth probable and sixth certain. Now I will explain each of these one by one. First one is conditional or unclassified. Now suppose if you have a patient who has taken drug and then patient develops adverse drug reaction. After that, patient fills the drug event report form, but in that form, he fails to mention time of adverse event. So, in the absence of data, the inference on association between drug and adverse event cannot be conclusively made. So, here the adverse event is categorized as conditional or unclassified. Second is unlikely. Suppose if there is a patient who has a chronic kidney disease. If this patient has an episode of toothache and for which he took analgesic, after the treatment patient complains about the swelling in feet. Now, in this case, though there is an event of swelling in a feet, one must remember that patient is suffering from chronic disease. So, swelling in feet is very common in this case. Therefore, swelling is very unlikely to be due to the analgesic taken. Therefore, adverse event which cause due to some underlying disease or concomitant drug is considered as a unlikely. Now third is unaccessible. Consider there is a patient who took drug for congestive heart failure and patient experienced seizures. Now here adverse event is seizures but in literatures if there is no any documented event of seizures related to that particular drug and also, after stopping of a drug, we do not have the information whether the seizures stop or not. 
in this scenario there is no complete data nor the literature supports is available for occurrence of the seizures due to particular drug so here we assess the causality as a unaccessible next is possible if there is a data to show that adverse event occur after taking the drug it is called as a possible whatever adverse event occur is pharmacologically plausible then we characterize as a possible next is a probable if adverse event has occurred but that adverse event occur cannot be explained by any adverse event or disease then we consider it as a probable and last one is a certain adverse event can neither be explained by drug or disease and most important there is a positive re challenge should be there then we consider causality as a certain second method of causality assessment is algorithms this include set of specific questions which associated with scores for calculating the likelihood of a cause effect relationship between medicines and adverse drug reaction this method is most widely used there are many algorithms developed for causality assessment but no one is universally accepted most commonly used algorithms are who scale and narangio scale as an example we are going to understand narangio scale this is a 10 item scale response to each item is recorded in the form of yes no and don't know from that questionnaire we get this scores there are assigned scores for each question and according to scores adverse reaction is categorized into the following four categories if total score is greater than or equal to 9 it indicates there is a definite adverse drug reaction if the score is between 5 to 8 that indicates probable relation if score is between 1 to 4 then it indicates possible adverse drug reaction if the score is 0 then it indicates doubtful adverse drug reaction Thank <laughs> you.